Okay, so we're going to talk about MP materials. There was a great interview recently on Meet Kevin's channel between himself and the CEO, uh, James Latinsky. And uh, I took some notes that I wanted to share, but I realized that most people probably don't even know who MP Materials even is. So I figured I would explain all of that for you. MP Materials, ticker symbol MP, headquartered in Las Vegas, Nevada, owns and controls Mountain Pass, the only rare earth mining and processing facility in North America. James Latinsky is the founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of MP Materials, as well as a JHL Capital Group, LLC. He graduated from Yale in economics and received his JD MBA from Northwestern University. The Mountain Pass mine is located 53 miles southwest of Las Vegas in San Bernardino County, California. MP is the second largest producer of REO, rare earth oxides, in the world. MP's current focus is on NDPR, neodymium praseodymium, a rare earth material used in high strength magnets that power traction motors found in electric vehicles, robotics, drones, turbines, and other advanced technologies. The materials they mine or produce are not used in batteries, so it is not lithium, nickel, cobalt, copper, none of those things. The large body of ore inside the pass has a very high concentration of REO, whereas most sites have about a 1-2%, to Mountain Pass contains over 7%. The Mountain Pass mine has been in operation since the 1950s. They are a profitable company. They currently hold over a billion dollars of cash on hand. All rare earth materials are sent to China for refinement as of today. Rare earth metals are not actually rare, just difficult and expensive to process. Because the demand for electric vehicles, drones, robots, turbines, etc. is growing, MP Materials is in the perfect position to be the leading provider of REO. It doesn't actually matter, for example, what company or what type of fuel or energy source goes to the motors themselves. It could be hydrogen, it could be lithium ion, any kind of power source is okay. It doesn't matter. So it, essentially, no matter what technologies win in the next few years, they will all still have to use these magnets. So a little bit about the history of the mine. In 1949, the Mountain Pass deposit is discovered. In 1952, Molly Corp purchases the site and begins mining. 1960, production expands to supply europium, the red tint in color televisions. 1965 to 1995, most of the world's rare earth materials are produced in Mountain Pass. In 1997, Unocal acquires Mountain Pass. However, in 2002, Unocal suspends mining at Mountain Pass due to environmental restrictions and competition from Chinese suppliers. In 2005, Chevron acquires Unocal. In 2008, Mountain Pass is acquired by an investor group. In 2010, Project Phoenix is started, which is a $1.5 billion investment into modernizing the facility. In 2015, Molly Corp goes bankrupt. JHL acquires the controlling position in the estate. In 2017, MP Materials is officially formed in order to restore MP as a premier global materials operator. In 2017, also, mining operations begin again. They begin selling their first rare earth concentrate in 2018. By 2019, they are responsible for 20% of the global market of REO. The plan is for processing and separations facilities to restart in 2022. This will create the first NDPR oxide sales for the company. Neodymium magnets are the strongest permanent magnets known. A couple grams can lift a thousand times its own weight. They are cheaper, lighter, and stronger than standard magnets. To go over this again, for them, stage one, which is what they're at now, is mining the rock and turning it into rare earth concentrate, which then gets shipped to China. So for MP materials, stage two is being able to refine those concentrates into individual elements themselves without having to sell that or send that to China. And then, of course, stage three is making the magnets here. So China is currently the largest supplier in the world of REO. One question that was asked was, does Tesla buy from MP materials? Here's the thing. Tesla buys the magnets. They don't buy the concentrate. So they buy the magnets from China. So MP will send the concentrate to China. China does the rest. So it's very important to get to the point where MP materials has the concentrate and has the magnets to sell. One thing to note is that large companies like a Tesla will not want to rely on smaller companies who they may not be able to depend on for products, giving a major advantage to MP Materials, considering they're on the largest mining site. $100 million of rare earth materials sent to China to be refined and turned into magnet would be $500 million if MP did that themselves. MP Materials is actually not worried at all about competition because of the position they are in. And because of the amount of rare earth that will be needed in the coming years, we actually need more. They don't want to be in a position where there's a shortage. So it's actually important that more companies try to find, mine, 
and process rare earth oxides. So overall, MP Materials is a company that I'm very excited about. Why they're so important to me is that obviously they're the only facility in North America that does what they do, and they will be the only competition for China. Some people are concerned that perhaps if MP Materials starts to produce their own REO or magnets, that China might take issue with that or you know have tariffs or a trade embargo, whatever. I'm not worried about that at all because as you saw in the most recent chip shortage, that affected a lot of companies. I don't think that China is interested in having these kinds of shortages affect them. I think it's better for them and for everyone if more companies are able to have access to these magnets. So I don't think it's a matter of trying to be competitive with them. They most likely are going to need these as well. So it just opens up more business opportunity in my eyes. I don't see it as a competition thing. I bet that they will be buying our magnets. So as for stock price, they're sitting at around $36. If you take a look, their high was about $50 back in March. Um, the way I would look at this company is they have years to go to be, they're already profitable, but what they're going to do is a whole new business venture for them. In my opinion, MP Materials is a long-term bet. I feel very good about buying them now and holding them for as long as possible. I would not expect to buy the stock and for it to double or triple anytime necessarily soon, although I do think it will do well as the market recovers and as people take more notice and understand and become educated as to rare earth oxides. A lot of people still believe that this is a company related to batteries and lithium, et cetera, et cetera. This is very different. And in my opinion, technically more important. MP Materials has a great website with a lot of information. They're also active on their Twitter as well as their Instagram. I highly recommend following them on any way that you can. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help.